So there is a vast array of choice for low handicap irons in 2024. It might be the most packed category of the bunch. And I've tested dozens and dozens of these at home. I've now come out to the beautiful Santo de Serra Golf Club in Madeira to take these through a bit more of a thorough test. We're gonna look at looks, feel, sound, performance, and stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm gonna name my overall best low handicap iron for 2024. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the looks of the club, the aesthetics. And in this low handicap range, it's really, really important. Low handicappers tend to be a little bit more discerning about shapes and angles and offsets. So it's really important to get that right. So I've picked out three of my favorites and I'm going to show you now. My first standout in the looks category is the Mizuno Pro 243. So it should be no surprise to anyone who's ever played Mizuno irons that the Pro 243 iron is gonna get in the best looking mentions. From a shelf appeal point of view, I think it's faultless. It's just got a stunning finish. I love the shaping. Some real attention to detail in terms of sophistication from Mizuno here. Not putting any paint fill in the Mizuno badge. Just little touches like that look great. And the paint fill they have used just here on the Mizuno Pro, really subtle. And I just think they look fantastic in the bag, gleaming here in the sunshine. They're just top notch from a shelf appeal point of view. The only thing that stopped them getting probably the top spot in this category for me is just down behind the ball. The head shape just doesn't quite suit my eye as well as some of the others. And that's not to say it's a bad head shape. It is not at all. It just doesn't quite have the symmetry of some of the others in this category for me. But I'd be far from disappointed seeing these in my bag. Next up for a special mention in looks is the Titleist T100. You know, this is just a really classic looking iron. There's not too much going on here. And that's, I think, to its benefit, not to its detriment. It's got a really lovely, clean, sort of brushed steel finish. Nice Titleist logo. A little bit of nod to technology in the cavity. But all in all, just a really sort of minimalist, clean, tidy and neat head. And that sort of blends down when you're looking down behind the ball from an address position. It's a really neat aesthetic, very symmetrical. So for that reason, from a shelf appeal and an address position point of view, the combination here is really, really good. And that's why it had a special mention in looks. My favorite looking low handicap iron of 2024 is the Ben Hogan PTX Tour. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. From every angle, the shaping, the grinding, the finish, the colors, it's just a stunning iron. It's a bit of a throwback with kind of the longer ferrules. That's a bit of a hallmark of older clubs. The kind of little dimple patterns around the hosel. But everything about it just makes me want to hit it. And down behind the ball, the head shapes through the bag are just perfect. Perfect dimensions, perfect amount of offset. The top line's great. They just tick all the boxes for me in terms of looks. So for me, PTX Tour, best looking, low handicap iron of 2024. So now we come on to feel, and feel is something that's really important in these low handicap irons. It tends to go hand in hand with the sound, so the acoustics and the feel are very, very much linked. So I've picked out three of my favorites, and the first one I wanna show you is the Ping Blueprint S. Oh, I like the feel of that, Howard. So what I really like about the Ping Blueprint S is it's got kind of a robust feel to it. It's a little bit firmer than some of the other, some of the other irons in the category, but for some reason it really works on this iron. It's just a real depth of strike that feels really sort of meaty behind the board. I really do enjoy it. And one other thing I really like about this, have got really narrow soles, these Blueprint S irons, and they just cut through the turf like butter. Entering and exiting is really, really smooth. And that gives them, that really does enhance the feel too. Oh, get in. That's on it. Okay, these Wilson Staff Model CB irons, they were a real favorite of mine in testing. I loved, from a feel point of view, they're smooth. They're really sort of buttery soft. And I just like the overall simplicity of the package. But yeah, from a feel point of view, I thought there was a little bit more forgiveness on some of these shots than I did on some of the other irons, but particularly off center, they feel gorgeous. It's flying nice. So from a feel point of view, this was a real surprise package to me. Some of you might not have even heard of Takome. 
It's a direct-to-consumer brand that's starting to make a few waves on the PJ Tour. Working with Wesley Bryan from the Bryan Brothers, and they've just signed another couple of tour players, and it's a really interesting brand. But I'll get to more of that later, but from a, just from a pure feel point of view, it's just a beautifully precision-forged steel, and it's so soft and buttery, I can't even tell you through strike, no matter what ball you're playing with, you get this really sort of gentle sensation in the hands through impact. And another great piece about this, it's got a relatively wide sole for an iron in this category, but they've done a little bit of grinding on the front edge, which really softens that entry and again, helps the club through the turf. And turf interaction in these lower handicap irons is a really big thing. So when you combine that with the super soft feel and the great aesthetic, for me, this is a real winner. And this is my best feeling low handicap iron of 2024. Right. Before we get to that, if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button, it really helps us. Also comment down below, what's your favorite low handicap iron of 2024? Love to hear about it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. On to the all important performance. So I'm just gonna put some numbers up on the screen for you from the testing I've done of all the whole selection. And if you need to pause it, please do take a look and absorb it because there's quite a lot of numbers there. But from a performance point of view in this category, it's not all about the numbers. Yes, that's part of it. We need to make sure that's adding up, but it's also, we need to take a bit more of a holistic approach to performance in terms of flight control, consistency, and some of the more unmeasurable things. On the data table, you'll probably notice there's a bit of a distance discrepancy from longest to shortest. That's probably because in this category, manufacturers are varying between loss of 30 and 34 degrees, so quite a big variance there in this category for me. So that would account for some of the distance drop-offs that you might see. So the first one I want to talk about taking that holistic approach to performance here is the Srixon ZX7 Mark II iron. You'll see from the data, it's got a very competitive ball speed, a slightly lower launch than some of the others in the category, and a good mid-level spin. It just produces a really nice sort of mid-trajectory, very controllable flight and it's really repeatable. Off center, it's good. You don't get any strange feeling strikes. It's just a really good, all round, solid, reliable performer. A lot of tour validation from this iron. There's a lot of good players, your Ryan Foxes, Shane Lowry's of the world, using this iron, and those guys don't use irons that aren't good. So this would be a welcome addition to most people's bags. So the next special mention in this category of performance is the Callaway Apex CB. Now I like this iron as soon as I picked it up, and that's always a good start and the performance results warranted my initial enthusiasm. So you'll see from the data, if you, did, if you did have a good look, it's not necessarily a standout in any of the categories. It's not jumping ahead and leading the way in any of the categories, but it's really solid across the board. And that's what I look for in performance in this kind of iron, just something you can rely on, something you know you're gonna get the same result from time after time, produces a lovely mid-level flight, nice feel, and the dispersion was really, really tight for me from left to right and a front to back perspective. It was really, really strong. So I found this to be a really, really good performer. And again, it'd be a great addition to anyone's bag. So the winner for me overall in terms of performance in this low handicap category has to be TaylorMade P770. And this is the younger sibling of the P790 and it packs so much of that performance and the technology that goes into the P790, but just in a more smaller, compact head with a little bit less offset. It offers you all of the reliability of the other two models that I've just mentioned there, but what elevates it just above the rest, it just packs a little bit more of a punch, just a little bit more ball speed, a nice peak height, a nice steep landing angle, which is important in this category, because it gives you more control when the ball's landing on the green. So for covering everything those other irons do and just giving that little bit more oomph, the winner in the performance category for low handicap irons is the TaylorMade P770. So we've got to that time and in my hand, I've got my favorite low handicap iron of 2024. And that iron is the Callaway Apex CB. Now, from the second I picked this iron up, I liked everything about it. Always a good start when the aesthetics get in your brain and really suit your eye. I just think the curves are in all the right places the shelf appeal. I even like the badge at the back, which would normally put me off the sort of weight that sits behind there. I think that actually adds to the club head. I like the subtle touches that Callaway have done where they've not colored in their logo here, just a very 
soft embossed silver callaway in the cavity there. I just think they look so premium, both from a shelf appeal point of view, and they've just got the ideal shape down behind the ball. Now it was a tough call this between this Apex CB and the P770, which as you know, I've just crowned the best performing iron in terms of raw data. But the overall package, the sum of its parts, when you include the overall performance, plus the aesthetic, plus the feel, and there was a very tight dispersion, which I mentioned earlier, for me, it's just about nicks it. So the best performing iron for me, or my favorite iron in the low handicap category of 2024, is the Callaway Apex CB.